Hey YouTube, Jack of all trades. A uh, question I get quite a bit in the shop is uh, about my solar system. Um, so I figured I'd take a second here and I would um, talk to you just a little bit about uh, solar charger controllers and uh, what are they and why do we need them. Well first thing we need to uh, establish here is uh, our basic solar system. Uh, solar system is consists of your solar panels your battery bank for storage and uh, the solar charger controller itself aka the brains we're gonna call it here um, <clears throat> there's lots of different kinds of solar charger controllers um, pulse width modulation um, charger controllers uh, multi powerpoint tracking systems um, there's all kinds of different stuff out there we're not going to talk about that too much um, what I just want to talk about briefly is what is it, what does it do, how does it do it, um, in a nutshell. Well, why do we need our solar charger controller? If we were to directly connect our panels to our batteries without a solar charger controller, we would have a couple of things happen. Yes, you can do that, and it does work. Um, but we, uh, we're going to come across a couple of things why you, uh, you want a solar charger controller in your system. Um, first, if you uh, don't put your solar charger controller in line, you are going to charge your batteries. Uh, your solar panels are going to do that, just like they normally would with the solar charger controller in line. Um, but what you're going to see happen is it's going to charge during the day, and then once the sun leaves us for the day, and now we have a moon out, um, no light anymore for charging, you're actually going to see your flow to the batteries now reverse and go back up to the solar panels and you're going to have your batteries discharge so just like they recharged throughout the day now they're going to go into a discharge state by warming up the panels and the substrates, solar substrates are actually going to warm up a little bit and they're going to deplete your batteries so that's the first major control that your solar charger controller has is the ability to see that power is coming from the panels and it has enough to send it to the batteries and it will complete the circuit and allow the energy to come from the panels and go into the batteries and start charging your batteries. Um, and when it sees the power from the panels diminish to the point that it can no longer charge the batteries effectively, it will disconnect the panels from the battery so now you don't discharge your batteries overnight so <clears throat> you also end up with another scenario is your batteries will become fully charged and now you no longer want to overcharge your batteries and if you didn't have a solar charger controller in the loop you would effectively boil your batteries and damage your batteries by overcharging your batteries so something you want to avoid another reason for a solar charger controller in line to protect your batteries and that is the main purpose of a solar charger controller is to protect your battery bank um, you can do other things with them but the most important par part is to protect the batteries charge them correctly um, charging your batteries with a low voltage but say a higher amperage going to the batteries um, can actually damage the batteries and do them harm. A uh, solar charger controller can protect your batteries from that. Uh, another function it can do. Um, they can do lots and lots of things if you start getting into all the different kinds of solar charger controllers and all the different features, but its main function is just to protect the batteries and keep them charged. Um, don't overcharge them, don't damage them, and uh, keep the the cycle here correct and um, making sure that nothing is overcharged, undercharged, or damaged. Though so in a nutshell, that is a solar charger controller and uh, why you need one. Thanks YouTube, Jack of all trades.